Uh, hello y'all, been wanting to make this video for a while. Uh, I have a uh, amazing uh, coincidence with timing of how things go and uh, as I was contemplating on you know, just trying to make this uh, video just uh, whoever may need to hear it to uh, understand things, how life can be sometimes. Uh, other people I know just happened to make some comments and everything. I thought well if I make that video around now they're going to think I'm uh, making the video in the uh, rebuking what they said and trying to step on their toes a little bit so I've waited a few weeks but now I can't hide forever uh, make some points out there and this is about life and how things can be um, in my life which I'm doing you no know, good now it's a not the best thing but you no know, normal home electric heat cool no plumbing no all that stuff uh, which is more storm proof than it is but other than that, no man it's, no it's good it's shelter it does what it needs to be done. So, but it wasn't always like that. I grew up in Eastern Kentucky, and uh, out of poor communities. And uh, don't get me wrong, some people had things that we didn't have, but you know, we were some of the more or less fortunate at the time. And uh, I mean, even as far as 1994, when we was doing good, man. I was in school with a boy in '94. Uh, uh, I remember the week that they uh, got a plumbing style in their home. Up till then. He just simply bathed out of a little dishpan of some kind all his life. What he's used to. We kind of call it bird bath or something like that. So I was a boy in the uh, early 80s. Up to uh, getting near... No, it was early 80s. Because in 84, you yeah, know, we lived in that home down there in the, that, in that one place. The only home in the trailer park we had it. So we're doing better than everybody else, you know. So, uh... Now you gotta understand, you know, we uh, we didn't have the uh, electric heat and cooling stuff. We had to use a stove, and because we didn't have we did have electricity, but we didn't have a at the time an electric stove to cook with. So the stove had to be used, the wood stove had to be used to uh, cook with. So it was uh, used twenty four seven three sixty five for a while. Eventually we got the electric stove and shut the uh, wood stove off in the summertime. You had to have it on all the time. People are like, oh, but in the summertime, you know, it gets, you know, sometimes 100 degrees or more or better in Kentucky. It's been a long time, but it has. And uh, they're like, you know, what do you do? It's like, well, you got to think. Heat rises. And you open the doors in the home, all the windows that have screens and everything, keep the insects out. And the, uh, the kind of brings a cool draft in because oxygen feeds the fire. As the heat rolls up the flu, so like that, the oxygen and all the fresh air coming to the home help keep it cool. That's kind of how it worked. Sounds crazy, but it's true. It don't work if you uh, just the windows and doors, though. That's a different story. And that's how that worked. And you get water. You had a big system and collect rainwater and stuff like that. Remember the big gutter pipe that run down to it? And you had this big old steel pump, and you go outside and get water. You sit there and pump that water to your container. Bring it into the home. You had to boil the water, disinfectants, things like that. You want to take a bath, you didn't have a shower. You had to take a little metal tub that we had, put it in the middle of the floor, lay, lay towels down, put it in the middle of the floor, then put some cold water into it. Then go heat some hot water up on a kettle, pour the hot water onto the uh, to the tub. So you got the temperature you wanted, warmer water, get your bath. One thing of water. And clean your whole body. That's how it was. And as far as... Uh, bathroom goes yeah there was no indoor plumbing or anything it was what we call the now house it was over the hillside they had to walk to no matter when how the human body functions when you gotta go you gotta go whenever it is summer or winter don't matter you run the house you froze in the winter time trying to do your business that's the way it was Summer time, do you think he's walking to another house and sit down? No, not wise. There can be wasps built up under that thing, black widow spider, copperhead, or rattler, rattlesnake, rattler, nose is itching. You know, just walk into a hell house in the summertime and sit down, you might get hurt. You got to look around. You put your head down in there and look around to make sure there's nothing there. You're right at that place, uh, that uh, seat right there where everybody sits. But you don't want to die because you uh, 
sit down and got bit by a snake, do you? That's how it goes. When you fast forward to now and everything, you know I'm I'm uh, more civilized now, so I fast in all these years. But you see people whining about luxuries they have. It's kind of like, hmm. Maybe you should have lived how I lived. Is that my cousin one time? He's whining about toilet paper. He had the stupid idea to whine to my grandfather about it. My grandfather just simply told him, "Well, son, you should have been back in my day. We used corn cobs." My cousin shut up then, because he had luxury, he had toilet paper, indoor plumbing, and everything else. My grandfather's day, nope. They lived rougher than I did in the early '80s. So, do they need to think? You got more luxuries than you realize. <clears throat> it could be, you know, it could be an outhouse. And that might become again by the, based on the politics I'm seeing, but I ain't gonna go into that. Anyway, just a little, little slice of what it's like. Imagine what it's like kind of bust all that wood up, though, you know. Of course, I was too young at the time to swing an axe or sledgehammer, but I got to help pack. Now, I got older, you know. I've done a lot of firewood busting by hand. Get sledgehammer, wedges out, get the old wax out, bust that stuff up. But um, that's a small taste of what it was like to live uh, somewhat rough. A lot rougher than everybody's living right now in the United States anyway. I can tell you that. 